Hi guys! In this video, you'll see how the actors of the TV series The Rifleman 1958-1963 have changed. You'll know their real names and age. I will show you how they look then and what's with them now. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Lucas McCain is a rancher, American Civil War veteran and widower. He's an excellent shot with a Winchester model 1892 rifle, has a tendency to be bossy and is extremely protective of his son Mark, played by Chuck Connors, who died of lung cancer in 1992. Mika Torrance is the sheriff of the North Fork who strives to maintain law and order. He's a friendly person and is close friends with Lucas McCain and Mark. He's fair and has authority in his city, played by Paul Fix, who died of kidney failure in 1983. Austin Stark is a swindler, the leader of a small gang. He's cruel and will not stop before his goal. He wears expensive suits and ingratiates himself with people by scamming them out of money, who died of vascular disease in 2010. Frank Sweeney is the bartender of the North Fork Saloon, where people come to vent. He's the first person who knows about everything that is happening in the city. He is loved for his understanding, played by Bill Quinn, who died of natural causes in 1994. John Hamilton is a lawyer and advisor, a decent man. He enjoys the trust and respect of the townspeople. He is also a friend of Lucas McCain and is an example to his son Mark, played by Harlan Ward, who died from complications of a brief illness in 1980. Hattie Denton is a friendly North Fork store owner who always greets customers with a smile. She has developed a close relationship with Lucas McCain and his son Mark, whom she often cares for, played by Hope Summers, who died of heart failure in 1979. Doc Burge is the local doctor providing medical care to the town's residents. He's the competent and caring specialist, distinguished by kindness and compassion for his patients. He's always ready to help those who needed medical help. Portrayed by Ralph Moody. Bro Headley is the younger brother in a family of bandits, loves to joke and fool around, not serious. He's not very patient and not careful, carries out small tasks and sometimes can ruin them. Portrayed by John Milford, who died of skin cancer in 2000. Finney is the city drunk. He's not stupid, he's very attentive to detail and has a knack for connecting facts, which allowed him to expose Lucas when he was working as an undercover federal agent. Portrayed by Debs Greer, who died of kidney failure in 2007. Doug J. Birch, played by Edgar Buchanan. He is respected throughout the North Fork. He becomes the McCain family's family physician and maintains a friendly relationship with them. The actor died of a stroke, complicated by pneumonia in 1979. Zach is Austin Stark's henchman, who does the dirty work such as murder and covering his tracks. He is unprincipled. People mean nothing to him. The main thing in life is to get more money, who died of lung cancer in 1973. Duke Jennings is a swindler who poses as a duke who has come to the city to buy an estate and set up his own business. He is an unprincipled, deceitful, but very elegant and attractive man, played by Richard Anderson, who died of natural causes in 2017. Gates is Lucas' eccentric friend. He has an unusual sense of humor, a kind heart and soul, loves to tell stories about his life and get the listeners around him, especially admiring children. Portrait by Jack Allen, who died of heart failure in 2003. Frank Hazlitt is the father of a criminal and murderer. He loves his son very much and tries with all his might to get him out of prison, stopping at nothing. He is dishonest and unprincipled. Ported by Denver Pyle, who died of lung cancer in 1997. Andrew Shelton 
is a man who wants to get even with Mika Torrance. He is hard-hearted and interested in personal gain. He is uneducated, sometimes cowardly, and loves to drink heavily. Portrait by Warren Oates, who died of a heart attack in 1982. Brad Davis is a bandit and murderer who hides his identity. He sells unusual revolvers, receiving a lot of money. He came to the city to take revenge on the offenders of his beloved brother, played by Michael Pate, who died of a respiratory failure in 2008. Gabe Penway is Lucas' neighbor, who is into horse racing. He bets all his savings on the game in order to gain a considerable amount, but the desire for profit plays a cruel joke on him. Portrait by Whit Bissell, who died of Parkinson's disease in 1996. Doc Burridge is a local doctor with a good sense of humor. He tries his best to encourage his patients. After the reception, he is not averse to drinking another glass for their health. Portrait by Jack Crucian, who died of natural causes in 2002. Aaron Wingate is a gentleman whose wife and son have disappeared. He is polite and well-mannered with others. He loses his mind and every boy he sees seems like his missing son, who died of pulmonary fibrosis in 1994. Dan Mori is an ex-con who wants revenge on Mika Torrance. He is possessed by revenge, is cold-blooded and cruel. He sneakily shoots Lucas so that the sheriff remains defenseless, quoted by Lee Wan Cliff, who died of a heart attack in 1989. Al Walker is a lawyer who came to the city to die in peace due to his illness. He is silent and likes to spend time alone or in the company of an intelligent person. Played by John Denner, who died to complications from emphysema and diabetes in 1992. Ben Johnson is the newly minted sheriff who took the place of Mika Torrance. He is on his own and wants to set his own rules in this city in order to conduct his dark affairs. The role is played by Lawrence Dawkin, who died of heart failure in 2002. Charlie Breen is one of the brothers, a bandit who is pursuing the new preacher in town. He has a sharp tongue, is ready to get into a fight, and wants to humiliate anyone who is better than him. He was played by L.Q. Jones who died of natural causes in 2022. Abel Goss is a photographer, former prisoner of war. He's an honest man, and when he meets his enemy, the colonel who mocked him in prison, he wants to arrange a fair fight for his honor. Ported by John Carradine, who died of heart and kidney failure in 1988. Mrs. Avery is the mother of a brutal killer who, along with her husband, is hiding under other names so that no one will recognize them. She has a strong character and knows how to control herself. Played by Alan Corby, who died of a stroke in 1999. Angus Evans is the gun store owner. He's an expert in his field, well-versed in weapons, and is always happy to choose exactly what the buyer needs. He collects old weapons with history. Portrayed by Ed De Quillen, who died of cancer in 1990. Carl Miller is one of a gang of robbers. He is rude, harsh, and unprincipled. His cruelty often spills over to the rest of the gang and also to those who fall into his hands during robberies. Who died of heart failure in 1981. Bart Jamison is a former soldier who came with his colleague on business. He is sensitive and vulnerable, is haunted by terrible visions from the war, and often drinks to cope with it. Ported by Robert Allenstein, who died of natural causes in 2010. Mark McCain is the son of Lucas, a kind and friendly boy who often shows compassion for others. He's very close to his father, learning wilderness survival and shooting skills from him. Portrayed by Johnny Crawford, who died of Alzheimer's disease in 2021. 
Bobby Moon is a broke shoe store owner who takes refuge from his pursuers on a ranch with his son. He owes a considerable amount to creditors, and now he has to travel around cities in the hope of hiding from his pursuers. The role played by Eugene Mazzola. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it, and of course, subscribe to the channel.